I would always wake up and we would see Mr. Rogers in the morning and the afternoon. And I would always time my day on when Mr. Rogers would come on. A lot of times uh, I knew I live in Alabama, so it would be on the PBS channel around 3 o'clock or so. I would know if I was at home for the entire day, had nothing to do. I knew Mr. Rogers would always entertain me. I do have uh, Mr. Rogers' memories of mainly kind of repeatedly going in Channel 13, WQED, where he worked, the home of Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, where my wife worked and still does. And I'd go in and meet her for dinner or pick her up or whatever, and there he would be just walk in the halls. And I would say, hi, Mr. Rogers. And he would say, call me Fred. And, uh, you know, he's just so... The thing I remember about him, he was exactly in person as he was on the air. So you were, you were getting the real thing. And he's just a sweet, sweet man. And it was a, a, a pleasure and an honor to, 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 to know him and to run into him. And I happen to live, technically speaking, in his neighborhood, in Squirrel Hills, where he lives. So that was Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. So yeah, I have a lot of fond memories. Mr. Rogers, to me, is just synonymous with my childhood. I mean, I'm a 70s child, and yeah, that ages me, but that was Mr. Rogers' wheelhouse in the 70s, and, you know, I can still sing the song, It's a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, It's a Beautiful Day for a Neighbor. And, you know, take the shoes off, zip the sweater up, get going with the show, Neighborhood of Make Believe. I mean, all of it is Pittsburgh, and as a kid, I didn't even realize it was Pittsburgh. I just thought it was this cool show on TV. As I got older and realized that he was a Pittsburgh entity and a Pittsburgh legend, and this all happened in Pittsburgh, made it so much cooler. And as a weatherman, well, every day is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Time to go. <laughs>